because it's we're going to need to know this for when we do our corporate bonds, right? Yes. Our corporate stock. Yes. Okay. So this would be very important subject in accounting, actually. That's why we need to spend time on this. Number one, as investor, as a borrower, as a financial manager, as any decision maker, ah, how key. to, that's a key, yeah. You need to know how bond price is calculated. Okay. And you need to know what's the benefit of issuing bond. So that's why we have to spend time on that. Like I said last time, uh, the reason why corporations or government entities are issuing bonds is to raise capital, right? Right. So by, by issuing bond, they can raise capital, and of course they will have some expenses. They have to make some interest expenses every period. So unless you know the effective interest rate, unless you know the coupon rate or the market rate, you, you cannot calculate the bond price. That's the key right there. So that's why I gave you that assignment to calculate bond price because uh, unless you know how to calculate bond price as a decision maker, you don't know whether you have to buy that bond or not. Right? So, we have three, two factors actually to calculate the bond price. The coupon rate and the market rate. And of course, you need to know the face value. What's the face value? The current value. Face value is the principal amount on the bond. All right, so right? face value is principal. Principal. Yeah. principal. Same as principal. So that's the face value. And also, of course, you need to know the period. So once you know this information, it will be very easy to calculate bond price. That's what you will see now. Okay? So sometimes bond can be issued as premium from last discussion. Remember, right? Premium. Or sometimes it can be issued at discount, right? So how do we determine? How do we know if the bond is issued at discount or if it's issued at premium? You compare it to market rates, so right? You compare it to market rate. Compare what? Compare the coupon rate, yes. right? You need to compare the coupon rate and the market rate. So if the coupon rate is Less than the market rate, what does that mean? Discount. Is, it, is the bond it's issued at discount or at premium? Discount. It's issued at discount. So that means we always need to figure out what the variance between the fixed value and the bond price that will give you the discount. Instead of it's more or less. Yeah. Okay, so are you really saying is that it's a higher risk? Yes. Yes, so the question I gave you said that investors want to know whether they are making money or not, right? So in that specific example, how much was the coupon rate? Let me open that up. Okay, here is our assignment. So assuming this company, XYZ company, sells 100,000 of five-year bonds, right? right? With a semi-annual coupon of 5%. So how much is the interest rate? What's the interest rate in this case? 10%, right? 10%, right. So, but we are using 5%, why? The bond is issued at? It's semi-annual. Semi-annual. So, it's semi-annual, that means this 10% coupon rate is for one year. Right? Right. Yes. But the bond is issued for five years on the semi annual basis. So that means we will have six months period of how many six months of period? Twelve years. Ten. ten. Five years. Right. We will have six ten. months. <coughs> uh, I mean ten six months period. So because of that, we are using five ten percent per one year means five percent per six yes. months. Right? Six months. Okay. Six months. Okay. Yes. 
So the market rate was 20%, right? So the first step is to calculate the periodic interest payment, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we calculate that? Do we use the coupon rate or the market rate to calculate the interest? The market rate. So in this case, how much was the base value? 100,000. So to calculate interest, we always need to multiply the face value by interest rate. Which rate? The coupon, the coupon rate. So, don't raise that. Sure. So it's face value times coupon rate. Times the period time. In this case, it's half. So it's five times half. Yes. No, 10 times half. So the coupon rate actually is 10% per annum. So because the bond is issued at semi-annual basis, then it will be 5%. So in this case, face value is how much? 100,000. 100,000 times 10%, right? Okay. Times half. Why half? Because you have to pay interest twice a year. For every six months. You have to pay 5% interest every six months. This is a very important concept. Once you know how to calculate interest, and once you know how to calculate the present values, then it will be easy to calculate the bond price. That's why we have to spend time on this. Yes? I multiplied it by, oh wait, never mind, never mind. Right, so we have to use, make sure to use the 10%, in this case 5% for the keep on it, yes? I have a question, the 12% the on there, does that just to indicate that it's being sold at a discount, or is there some part of the calculation? That yes, is? there's part of calculation. We, we, are, we are coming yeah. to that. So we have to use that six percent to calculate the present values. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will show you how to calculate okay. present values. We have to use. This. We are using the five percent only to calculate the periodic interest payment. So, to calculate the interest, the periodic interest payment. We are using 10%, right? Which is 5% in this case. <laughs> now, yes? Why are we using 10% uh, instead of 5% for coupon rate? Right? No, we didn't use 10%, we are using 5%. Are we using 5% or 10%? We are using 5%. In this case, this gives you 5%, right? 10% times half is 5%. So we are using 5%. 5% for 6 months. 10% is for annual. Because it's always expressed on annual basis. But for calculation purpose, we are using 5%, not 10%. Okay? So in this case, how much would be the interest payment? 5,000, right? So 5,000. Now, once we get 5,000 interest payment, mm -hmm. then what is the bond formula, the bond price formula from last session, from la last week's session? Can anyone take it up? Uh, present value of principal plus yes. present value of interest payment. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. So this is a very important formula. Bond price is always calculated as present value of principal or face value. In this case, how much? 100,000, right? Okay. Present value of face value, which is bond par value, plus present value of periodic interest payment, which is 5,000 in this case. Present value of interest. This is the bond price. What's bond price? The amount we are receiving today by issuing the bond. That's what bond price means. So bond price sometimes can be lower than face value or higher than the face value. So if the bond is issued at discount, then we are getting lower amount of the face value today. So in this example, this particular example, the bond is issued at discount. You can tell just by comparing the coupon rate and the market rate, right? So now, how do we calculate the bond price? How do we get the present value factor? We have two types of present value factors. Present value for annuities, present value for single sum amount. By the way, I, get, I brought some amity table for you guys so that you can pass this present value. Yes. This is how it looks like. Okay. You can pass it. You can show it. So, we have two types of present value tables. 
an empty present value and single present value. So to get that present value, we have to use table, or you can use your calculator if you know the formula. Two meters. So the present value for single sum and present value for anities. What's the formula for present value for anities? One minus one over one plus i to the power of n give over i give you the present value for anities. This will give you the same result as you see that on your table that I just gave you. <laughs> if you know how to use this formula, I means interest rate, N is the carriage, and by just plugging all the numbers and information here, you can get the present value factor. So let's say you don't have the present value and if you can, you can just use your calculator using this formula and figure out how much, what is the present value factor. So on your exam purpose, you, it will be provided for you, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? So, so in this case, what is the present value of single? I already gave you that. That's zero point seven. Oh, seven. That's annuity. No, this that's is zero point five five eight three nine. So zero point five five eight three nine times one hundred thousand, which is the face value, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, what's the present value of annuity? Five thousand. Okay. Five thousand times so. zero point. 55839, five, right? Nine. Times 5,000, 5K. Can somebody calculate this? And that will be the bond price, bond price we are receiving. Is somebody calculating? So, can you go over that equation again? Is that interest minus interest over interest? This is one, one minus one over one plus i, the power of n, divided by the over or i. One minus one over one plus i, the power of n, divided by i. So, you can't just use your scientific calculator to figure out the present value function. So yes, so it's um, Yes, on your exam, it should be done. 60, no, I, I don't think that's the right number. You can practice by yourself to figure out how to use this formula. Just take the interest rate and the period, and you should get the same present value factor, what you see on the table. Okay, so that will give you 7.6009. So for this example purpose, I already provided the present value factor for an ETA for single sum amount, okay? So all you need to do now is add those numbers. The second one is not right. Five, 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 yeah, let's use this. Five, five, five thousand, no, no, one hundred thousand. This will give you 55, 839, 55, 839. Plus, can somebody? Oh, this is wrong. Zero point seven point six zero 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 nine. Zero 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 nine. Yes. Times five thousand for five years. Ninety two thousand. This is thirty two thousand. Ninety two thousand. Six thirty nine. So this is the bond price. That's wrong. Okay. What is that? You multiply seven point three six zero zero nine. Somebody tell me the result of this. Five thousand times this. 36,800. 36, 36, yeah, this looks the right number. So when you add the 55,000 and the 36,000 will give you 92,000. This is the bond price, what we call bond price. That's the amount we are receiving today by issuing 100,000 face value yeah. of bond. Am I clear? Yeah. So, Am I clear? Yeah. You good? No, yeah, I have it right. I'm just waiting. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So, what is the bond price? 92,000. Right. So, so, that tells you the bond is issued at discount. Correct. Yes. So, as a buyer, it's kind of like a good purchase. The buyer? Yeah. Uh -huh. The investor. As the investor. Yeah, the who will be in favor of, who will be benefiting more? Investor. Investor. Yeah. No, investor. 
investor. Investor. Investor. investor. That's why the question says, you see, the investor thinks the company is risky. Right. 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 So that's right. why right. they are providing trade with person market rate. Right? 10%. So yes. that means they are giving 92,000 today, but they are still receiving 100,000 after five years. You see, the bond was issued at discount. So it's in favor of the investor. Yes. All right. So after five years, XYZ Corporation is going to write, I'm, I'm pretending I'm an investor, he's going to write the issue for $100,000 at the end of five years. Yes. Not 90. No, 93,000 is the amount that we are getting today. Plus all the interest. Right, right. So when you pay this bond, you will pay 5,000 every six months right. for the next five years. Mm -hmm. Plus the discount. How much was now? This is the first step. Well, the first step is actually to calculate the interest. Right? We just did. To calculate the interest. Credit interest rate. In this case, 5,000. Yeah. Now, the next step is to calculate the bond price, which we already did, right? So we have to compare the bond price plus the bond price with the face value, right? Mm -hmm. To figure out how much is actually the discount of that bond. 92,000 minus 100,000 minus 92,639, right? This is how you calculate the discount. How much is the discount? Seven, 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 thousand, right? Yeah. Seven, seven, three thousand, right? Seventy-three. Three hundred sixty. This is the discount. Yes. No. Seventy-three. You are celebrating, right? <laughs> no, it's seven thousand. Seven thousand. It's not seventy-three. Okay. Seven thousand. Yes. Seven thousand. Yes, this is a discount. So this is the amount we have to discount using amortization. So this is the total amount for the discount. We have to amortize that every six months. Okay. So when we pay our interest payment of 5,000, we have to add that amount. If we are using a straight line amortization method, right. all we need to do is divide this by that will give you only 736. So every six months when we pay the interest payment, we have to add the amortized discount on top of that. So let me just show you the solution, how it looks like. I think I agree. So we have to add that 736 discounted amount on top of 5,000. It's not subtracted. So, no, we have to add it. Because if that was premium, we have to subtract it. But in this case, because it's a discount, the bond was issued at discount, we have to add it. So then using that straight line amortization concept, we can develop the amortization table. Discount amortization table, and I will show you how that looks like. How many of you did show the amortization table? Okay, yeah, because that's very important. We have to start from the bond price, and you have to show the carrying value for each year, and you have to show the interest expense for each year. In this case, actually, the interest expense and the uh, discounted amount will be the same, right? To be uniform, because we are using straight line. I mean, straight line amortization. Table. So what will be the journal interest? We are receiving cash, right? right. So By issuing bond. You want to debit cash. Yes, debit cash for how much? $92,639. Yeah, because why we are not debiting $100,000? Because we didn't get $100,000. Really what about if the bond was issued at par? Then you would have yeah. deposited we will not have. Yes, we will not have any discount so. or premiums then. We are receiving cash today, 100,000 cash today, which is the same as the part value. But in this case, because the bond is issued at discount, then we are receiving less. So then, still, we always need to credit bond payment, right? right. So For how much? 100,000. 1,000, face value. But still, anyways, we are paying 
that face value at the 